Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine. Today we will learn about endothermic reactions and processes. By the end of the lesson, you all will be able to explain that in endothermic reactions, heat energy is taken in from the surroundings and is stored as chemical energy. And you also will be able to understand the differences between endothermic reactions and processes with examples. Let's begin the lesson. I would like all of you to have a look on the picture displayed on the screen. So, what do you see? We can clearly see that ice is melting due to the surroundings heat. In the coming slides, we will explore that what is causing this ice to melt. This ice is melting due to the endothermic process. The word endothermic is composed of two separate words, endo and thermal. Endo means internal or within and thermal is related to heat. So endothermic is the one in which heat energy is taken in and the final temperature drops down. And you can clearly see this phenomena in this diagram. Endothermic is composed of two processes or reactions. One is endothermic process and the other one is the endothermic reaction. In endothermic reaction, heat energy is taken in from, from the surroundings and is stored as chemical energy. Whereas in endothermic process, heat energy is taken in, but the change is due to a physical reaction or a physical change. Now let's discuss the examples of both. The very first example is of sodium hydrogen carbonate and citric acid. This is the example of endothermic reaction. When sodium hydrogen carbonate is reacted with citric acid, heat energy is taken in from the surroundings. The word equation of this reaction is shown on the screen. The final temperature as a result of this reaction drops down and you can clearly feel the beaker that you can feel it's cold. How can we calculate or how can we know about the temperature? We can record the initial temperature and then the final temperature of the reaction. The dropping down of the final temperature indicates that this is an endothermic reaction. You can conduct this experiment at home by taking baking soda and lemon juice or vinegar. This will produce the similar results. Another example of endothermic reaction is of sherbet sweets. When we eat sherbet sweets, we feel cool fizzy feeling on our tongue. Sherbet sweets contain dry citric acid and sodium hydrogen carbonate. When we eat sherbet sweet, it, these chemicals mixes with the water in the saliva and produces a cool fizzy feeling. So this reaction is also endothermic in nature. Now let's discuss the examples of endothermic process. The very first example is the example of sodium, the mixing of potassium chloride in water. When we mix potassium chloride in water, heat energy is taken in and the heat energy is used to dissolve potassium chloride in water and the beaker feels cold. The similar reaction is displayed in this diagram. The difference is only that potassium chloride is replaced by ammonium chloride. So it is also an endothermic process because in this no chemical reaction is taking place. Just a physical reaction is taking place. It's just a mixing of potassium chloride in water. Another example of endothermic process is of ice melting that we had already discussed as a trigger activity. Heat energy is taken in to melt ice and its state changes from solid to liquid. In ice, the particles are tightly packed together and they are just vibrating at their fixed position. When the heat energy is taken in from the surroundings, the movement of the particles become faster. So due to which the force of attraction between them actually decreases and the state of solid changes into liquid. Likewise, there is another example 
of endothermic process which is of water evaporation so to summarize today's lesson we learned that in endothermic reactions or processes heat energy is taken in from the surroundings and the final temperature drops down Moreover, we discussed the examples of endothermic reactions and processes. To judge your understanding of today's lesson, you can attempt the questions that are displayed on the screen and you can get them checked by your science teacher. I hope you like the lesson. Thank you and Allah.